Today, I will be showing you how to create your own Google Sheet to track baseball statistics. The basics of this video could easily be applied to other areas using Google Sheets. First, we will start by creating a layout to enter the data set into. The columns across the top, starting with cell A1, are player name, games, total at bats, official at bats, hits, singles, doubles, triples, home runs, sacrifice, walks, RBIs, run scored, batting average, slugging percentage, and on base percentage. You could change the column width by either dragging it or selecting the drop down menu as so. You click resize column and you could set your column to any desirable width. For my columns here I have my column width 65 for everything with the exception of player name, batting average, slugging percentage, and on base percentage with the column width of 80 which I've noted here at the bottom. Next, we'll want to enter names in each row starting with A2, so player 1 through player 12. Obviously, you'll have names. I'm just using player 1 through player 12. Lastly, we should create borders to make the sheet easier to read. The way you do that is you highlight your data set. There's a border tab up here, and you can pick which borders you'd like. I would highly recommend borders around all the cells to make it easier to read when you print it. Next we're going to look at inserting functions or formulas inside of Google Sheets. Now I've used data here inside many of the columns which I'm just going to use as a reference for when I do totals. So first thing I'm going to want to do is create a total for my total at bats for team totals. Click on the cell which in this case is C14. Click insert function and we want to use the sum function. Now we're going to need to tell the computer which cells to look for so I'm going to click on C2. I hold the shift key down all the way to C13 and press enter to use the formula. Notice it says the sum of C2 through C13. Now one of the best things about Google Sheets is I can then copy and paste this formula into consecutive cells and if you notice it will actually adjust automatically for the column you're in. So you only have to do the formula once. So I'll go the way through. Okay, next we're going to want to look at your official at bats, batting average, slugging percentage, and on base percentage are specific formulas that will be calculated using the data. At the bottom here, I've given you the official formulas. So for instance, for this cell here, D2, I'm going to have to do your total at bats minus, and then the sum of your sacrifice and walks. To enter a formula manually, you just simply click the equal sign. We're going to do total at bats minus parentheses. We want the sum of sacrifice. Notice I'm clicking in the same row. And then we're going to add the walks. And then we'll close the parentheses and hit enter. What total that's going to do with your total at bats is take your total at bats and subtract your sacrifices and walks. And again, you can copy and paste into all the future rows. Again, it will adjust for each individual row, so you only have to do the formula once. Going all the way down, notice my total is changing at the bottom. So that's all set. Next, we'll have to calculate batting average. In order to calculate batting average, we're going to look at two columns. We're going to look at hits divided by official at bats, right here. So first, we'll want to hit the equal sign. Next thing we'll want to do is take our hits divided by our official at bats, and we'll hit enter. Then we'll want to copy and paste that into all the future columns. Now I've actually already set the numbers to display, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. So notice my batting averages are three decimal places. What I recommend you do is select this entire section here, because batting average, slugging percentage, and on-base percentage are usually displayed through three decimals. You'll do format, number. For the beginning, we'll do more formats, custom number format. Now, you're going to want zero and then three decimal places. If you use the number symbol, it will round, and in most cases, we don't want that because then you can end up with two decimal places. If I click Apply, that will actually cover all of these as well. So now for slugging percentage, I'm going to have to use this giant formula here. So bear with me on this one. First, we're going to do equals. We're going to take the singles. First, we want to do is parentheses. Then we'll take singles plus... Two, now for times you can use a little asterisk. So two times your doubles 
plus 3 times your triples plus 4 times your home runs. I'm going to close the parentheses and we're going to divide the whole thing by the official at bats. And then hit enter. And then once we have that, since we only need to put the formula in once, we'll continue to put the formula in every single cell beneath it. All the way down. Now what I didn't do is you can actually also post down here for the totals. Just like that. And then if it happens with your border here, just put it back in. Okay, next we'll look at on base percentage. On base percentage is going to be your hits and walks over your total at bats. So we're going to, again, we're going to use the equal sign. Parentheses. We're going to take the hits and the walks. And then we'll divide that sum by the total at bats, which in this case is C2. And we'll hit enter. And then we will continue to copy that into all of the columns below. It helps if you remember your control V is to paste as a hotkey. We'll go all the way down to the totals. And again, if it erases the border, just put the border back in there. Okay, so now our sheet is ready to be calculated. So now we're going to look at how to track baseball statistics using the sheet that we created. At the bottom here, I've taken a snapshot from player one at a particular seven inning game. So here in the first inning, he had a double with a run scored. Third inning was a fly out to center field. Fourth inning was a three run home run. Fifth inning was a walk. And the seventh inning, he had a single with an RBI and a run scored. So the first thing we we'll want to do is go to player one. This would be, for instance, his 19th game, because you just add one. Now his total at bats, he had one, two, three, four, five at bats. So 76 plus five would be 81. Next, we'll look at hits, because official at bats will calculate automatically. So for hits, he had one hit, two hits, three hits. So 52 plus three is 55. Now you look down here, he had one single. So that would mean he'd have 38 singles now. He had one double, so 10 becomes an 11, and he had a home run, so two home runs becomes three. He did not have any sacrifices. He had an additional walk. As far as RBIs, he had three, four, so that would 24 would become 28. His run scored, he had one, two, three, so 39 would become 42, and it will automatically calculate your official at bats, your batting average, your slugging percentage, and on base percentage for you. Some other good things to mention is these numbers down here on these bottom three are good numbers to look at because these would be team batting average, team slugging percentage, and team on base percentage. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe or leave any comments below.